what Drew is talking about here. We also have two great matches. We're going to go back to Punishment and Belfont to see the tag team of Operation 13, ISP Psycho Fusion, taking on the Psychotic Assassins. And from No Retreat and Roaring Spring, the rival continues Justin Starr challenging Black Lightning for the television championship. And we'll get to that right after these messages. This is so unprofessional. You have no idea. Hey, Drew. Careful, Drew. Don't scare me like that! Sorry, we have trading cards. Yeah, I know we have trading cards. X, they're all over the place, and they're available at the merchandise table, too. And the cool thing is, we'll autograph them for you after the show. Stop yeah. on up and see us. Sign it. Not right now. Oh, uh, you know what? There's a terrible epidemic. Scabies? No. What? Some people don't have a clue or have a set of these awesome trading cards. Well, X, that's completely ludicrous. You can go no, to our merchandise table. You can go to our merchandise table. Yeah, I know. You can go to our merchandise table or go to AO1Wrestling.com and pick up a set. I know that, but you know who should know that? Who? You! Yeah. All or Nothing Wrestling would like to take this time to thank our sponsors for their continued support. Action is underway. Here he is, the original psychotic assassin himself, Psycho Fusion. Call her elbow tie up. You really need to change that name without him. Neither one getting an advantage. Oh, on second thought, Psycho Fusion is getting the advantage. Oh, oh. now that is uncalled for. What are you talking about? I think Ryan Fear asked for it. No, no, I don't believe he did. I thought I was going to say, Slap me! Oh, Psycho's going to ask for Look this. Look at this. Now, come on, this is not right. He's in the corner, ref. Uh, wait a second. It was fine, though. The yeah, Psycho yeah. slapped him. Ago, right? Psycho slapped him. Didn't deliver oh, four or five shots. Oh, give me a break, Edwards. Oh, look at it. He pulled the hair. Arm drag take, pulled the he hair. pulled the hair? He pulled the hair in that arm drag. What hair? Psycho's wearing a mask, Dimlet. He's got hair underneath that mask. He can still pull it. Yeah. Oh. oh, Jesus. But, and again, oh, check that. That's a choke hold. It's it not a chokehold. It's, it's up, it's up a, above the chin. It's a grinding headlock. That's a Now, is. shoulder block take down by Ryan Fear. I'm sure he pulled the tights or something in that one. You're off the ropes. Oh, psych. Uh, ISP trying to take a swipe there at Ryan Fear, the nightmare. He's going to pat him on the back. ISP was trying to tag him. He doesn't know where he is. I don't he know. He was just trying to pat him on the back and say, good job. Well, Outside ISP. the ring. He's that. Well, Psycho Fusion. Ooh. You have a close line by Ryan Fear nice taking out Psycho line. Fusion and an elbow. An elbow to boot. Come on, no, Psycho. No boot. Oh, man. Another clothesline knocking him down. Yeah, but the problem is Psycho He's Fusion a, has about two or three different personalities, so he may be beating up this personality, but once he gets tagged back in, hey, Drew, Shannon, is this the real Psycho Fusion? I believe this is the real Psycho Fusion. There has only been one. I don't know. Yeah, I know, but it's Mike the... Edwards is not no longer talking about the this being the fake one. Well, regardless of which Psycho Fusion... Oh, now, come on. Was Psycho just, Fusion... He just said, welcome to Belfont, Ryan. Tossing Ryan Fear out of the ring and ISP getting a cheap shot in. Oh, a cheap shot. Nothing cheap about those fists. They're worth about $500 a piece. One, I don't even, I don't even two, know what that means. And a kick out. That's really bad. 
Brings it back over the corner. corner. Makes a tag to ISP. There you go. Manchild, of course, being completely angry since the beginning of this, because you can tell he's got his uh, angry face on. Yeah. Nobody likes him. When now, come angry. on. There was a hair pull there, ref. There was? Get Psycho back away from the corner. Look at these oh, sure, but it's okay when he pulls Psycho's hair. How do you pull hair. Psycho's hair and say, say never mind? Oh, there's a big mind. chop. There's, that is just nasty. Nobody does a better chop at AON than ISP. And Manchild man is in illegally. Man Get out of that's, there. That's not going to help. Now, meantime, Psycho Fusion Psycho, with a double team. In the meantime, no, no, so Psycho, a double team is in there by himself. In the meantime, double Psycho team. taking advantage. Oh! oh that it does, X. These guys uh, definitely are showing oh, oh, man. showing definite promise here. Side slam leg drop, very impressive. As a team to be that was just scary. reckoned with. Two and oh, come on, ref, that was a three cap. No, it wasn't. It was a two. Ryan Fear kicked out. And the former tag team partners now duping out in the ring. They've done a great job of isolating him from the man shot. Man shot has not been able to get into this match legally. Now the ref needs to watch the fists as well. Those weren't. Those were totally legal. Those weren't open hands. They, like they were, should be. They were open. They weren't closed all the way, and they weren't clinched. So therefore, it's an open hand. Uh, he now he helps Ryan Fear over to the ropes. Come on, ref, break it. That's a choke. The GM says it's okay. It's okay. He said, "Don't now, worry." Come on, man. He's saying, him. <laughs> reaching for the tag. He's Barely. Just not just enough. Just not but enough. Psycho had the no wherewithal to wait. Oh, oh he misses the integrity. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, oh my curl. Now, that is that should be illegal right the there. The curse stomp is totally illegal. There's nothing illegal about that move. Is How is that not illegal? How is it illegal? There's no pull on his heist. There's no hair pull. That's just dangerous. It's a dangerous maneuver, but I agree with Mike Edwards. It's not illegal. It was just a really good hold. Look at this. Like I said, it's oh, like these man. guys have been tag teaming for years. This Get is one of them out of the ring, one, Ben. Two, they had a five count. They were out before the five count. It's scary. That Unlike this is, those. This is technically their first match as a team. And this is, well, their first tag team title defense. And they are just... Very fluid in the ring together. This is I great. Will, I will give them that. These now guys are psycho. working like a well-oiled machine. Not psycho. Too happy with the AON faithful. These Tell me what. Oh, no. Oh, oh man, then you can just feel that from here. I wish he'd give you one, Mike Edwards. Ooh, don't you worry another about that. Another chop. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ryan Fierce's wow. chest is turning about as red as that stripe in his pants. It looks, Take like, a it looks like ground beef. Now, come on, now. Get him out of the corner there. That's illegal. Shut up. He just chopped the crap Are you out. kidding me? Yeah, it's chop. Oh, each chop is less than five seconds. Now look at the chest of Ryan Fear. Ow! Oh, come on now. There had to be a, he pulled the tights of Not, Oh, pulled the tights of my foot. Ryan Fear. This could be it. Usually if he does hit it, it is it. Psycho not taken to uh the fans are chanting Psycho is a traitor and he's he's not liking that. I think Psycho is actually feeding off of that. Well, at least one of his Ryan, personalities is. Ryan Fear getting back to back to his feet. Caught him off guard. This is a dangerous area to be fighting at here. Well, if Ryan Fear was smart, he would have gotten over and given the t or gotten the tag from Manchild. But nobody ever said he was a mental giant. Well, he's just mental. That's true. Beautiful superplex off the top rope. And Maximus has the papers to prove that. Now both men down. Not very smart by Ryan Fear. As yeah, both said. men definitely taking a. Uh... And Psycho just looks dead. I mean, he's just laying there, stiff as a board. Man, I don't know who took the worst hit on that one. Well, that definitely did a number on both of those guys. I mean, this could be just like a little bit of muscle spasms and Ryan Fear moving. And Manchild trying to get the crowd behind it. Him and his team. And, uh, Manchild has yet to be tagged in this match. Ryan Fear's just taking a beat down here. That's right. ISP Manchild has not confusing. been in legally. Both men going for the tag, and they both get the tag. Man, oh, here we go. Fresh Manchild, and he's PO'd. Manchild oh, man. with a series of shots Back in the head. Back body drop. Wow. wow. That's huge. Back body drop. Oh, Psycho lands on his butt. Back definitely do damage to the drop. tailbone. Oh, Psycho Fusion, the real original mask Back man. Back body Ill. drop. And How many more times is this guy? This kid does not know his own strength. No, Psycho he just gave oh, himself no. a back body drop. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Oh. Had the choke slam, but it was going to be a double attempt. Now they're just uh, 
We're going to start breaking him down like a big old tree. No, now, Ryan Pierce right? grabs him. Now that's illegal. Ryan Pierce should be disqualified for that alone. Uh oh. Look at this. What's the man child going for? What? Tombstone! Oh! Wild drive! What are you saying that? I stricken from the man. Record. All right, here we go. This we got could new be tag it. team champions. Oh, come right on. Here. You got to get one of them out of the ring. This is completely one, illegal. Two, two, oh, my oh, goodness. Psycho there from we nowhere. Go. Psycho with that broad splash. <laughs> that's how you even up the odds. That hurt all four men. And Psycho. That and, and the other psycho. What? There's what? only one psycho. Just two of his personalities. Unless this is the fake psycho and the real psycho is tied up. Oh no, this is the real. This is definitely the real psycho. Oh, yeah. He has it tattooed on his so. stomach. Oh. See where it says psycho? It says P.S. Cha. Yeah, they put it there so we know how to spell it. Well, this one was exactly. a bicycle kick. Psycho with a boot to the midsection. Going for a suplex. Oh, the falcon arrow. The fal- yeah. Nice suplex. That was beautiful. That usually puts opponents away as well. That is a big Let's move. Let's see him do that to the big old man chat. <laughs> There's no need to outpower anything you can outpower. Yeah, he's tossed out of the ring for his effort. You can outsmart the Ooh. big man. That's all you need to do. This you don't have to outpower. Kick there by Psycho Fusion going for that rush. Russian leg sleep. Nicely Psych done by Psycho Fusion. That's just impressive. This could be the, the beginning of the end. I'm going to say it. I, I mean, I'm not happy that Psycho has joined the operation, but someday, gentlemen, he could be AON Pennsylvania champion. Me sooner than later. What's this maneuver they're setting up? Oh, oh my god. Oh my elbow drop. God. Nicely done. I think that's it. That's got to be it. No offense, man child, but that's it. Three, that's enough to put anybody away. That's it. Samantha Sanders ringing the bell. The AON is live and on tour. Check out these dates and times and make sure you're at every live AON event to see the heart pounding action. Lightning, the uh, youth and charisma of Justin Starr. And, wow. And just wait until Starr hits puberty. Oh, just stop it, all right? I think he has. He's old enough to get a tattoo. Uh, Lightning regained that title at War for Territory, the only two-time TV champion in AON history, the most dominant man. I mean, look at him. He took on two huge opponents, two big bohemians, if you will, at War for Territory 4. I mean, this guy is like the honey badger. He just don't care. You do know that it's Bohemoth, right? Yes. And of course we know Justin Starr is a former 814 champion. Oh, boot to the midsection. As Look well at the honey badger go. He just don't care. He takes what he wants. As former Pennsylvania champion. I have no player. idea what that means, but I'm assuming it's some sort of Facebook reference type deal. Now, if Justin Starr, I will say this, if Justin Starr would win the tag belt, he would probably be the first person I'll do my research on this, but I believe he would be the only... Yeah. Why don't you just give them a hint? Believe me, I'd rather give them your headsets. Well, that's not going to happen. The commentary would be about as entertaining as whenever uh, Kess and ISP accompanied me wow. several weeks ago in the rundown. That was great. Uh, no. See, you guys, guys voiced over us. Hey, highest rated show Ooh. ever. Rams Justin Starr in a ring the post. The only reason was because the 9 11 special before. Uh huh. Anyway, Black Lightning in control. Look at the lightning go. That's just a great move. That's very intelligent right there. What, by ramming him into the ring post was an intelligent sure. move? If Justin Starr had a chance, he'd do it the lightning. Now he's going to do it right in front of us. Oh. He just does so much for the community. And now... What, he's what, for the community? Look at before? this. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's working on that left arm. Come on, that is a smart move. That's a beautiful move. Wasn't that the arm that was injured? I believe that was the One, arm that was injured. Two. Well, that should have been Causing, a free count, but that's okay. Causing, Lightning's got this match on control. Star to lose that title, and uh, Colin Blair, and then Shane Mallison around the night. Two, you keep counting, ref. He's got a five count. He broke it at four. Obviously. Because he plays by the rules. He's a man you can live your life. You should pattern your life after this man. Okay, he's hot dog with a delicious title. Why didn't you get me one, Mark Sanchez? ISP, he's eating. Don't tell him that. He'll tell you to spit it out. Shut up, Edward. It's so unprofessional. And now, watch this. Watch this move. This is a great move. Watch this. Bobby Frapples will bring you a hot dog. 
Lightning taunting the crowd a little bit. Looking over towards ISP. Said this one is for you. Got him right in the thigh. I'm trying to block it so ISP don't see you. Yeah, well, it's too late. He just caught me. He says I'm not allowed to eat a ringside. Thanks, hey. Edwards, you jerk. Edwards, I eat at ringside all the time. Yeah, we know. And now, working over that left arm, that's because you guys are both completely unprofessional, and that's why I carry this show. And well, it's obvious that Black Lightning is uh, Look, he's working just right targeting back. that left arm of uh, of Justin Starr, and I believe that is correct. That may have been the arm that was injured that cost him to... Uh, it probably it cost him the heavyweight title. And with the action hot and heavy in AON, he probably hasn't had time to let it heal correctly or what, 100%. Well, that's because this guy doesn't know when to stop and take a break. I mean, if I were just starting, I'd take off a show or two, let it heal a little bit, but not this guy. Oh, I got to go hot. I got to play for my now, fans. Now, like in control of this Helping TV up Justin Starr. Move to the, the midsection. Oh, 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 man. That cutter-like maneuver. The lightning flashes. That has to be it. Come on. Is that for the cover one. one. Two, two and, and no! The resilience of this young Justin Starr. Well, I will say, Black Lightning putting everything into these covers. He definitely. Is that kid even old enough to have a tattoo? Yes, he has two. Oh, stop! Like, Edward, where's your tattoo at? Don't you worry about it. Like I told you before, Justin and I went drinking one night back in March. After we won the belt. That's right. Went and celebrated, had a cut, had a back a few. You were drinking with a tw with a twelve year old? How could you? He was not twelve. He's twenty one, for God's sake. Me and Manchild with Chuck E. Cheese. And, and now, oh Ooh, look at that form across the back. In fact, I thought Manchild was a giant ape. Oh the man, match. just fell backwards off that turnbuckle. And now Lightning, he's gonna put him back up. He's not done with him. He didn't let him go. He didn't tell him to get off that turnbuckle. Puts him back up on the top rope, and now he's talking some smack to me. Ooh. You're just worried about your match, Lightning. Shots to the lower back. Well, he told you. Yeah, he told me. I wish I could yeah, say. He's... I wish we could say what he said to you on air. But trying to get him in the tree of woe, and that's impossible. Now a series of boots to the midsection. Justin Starr just taking just, a beating right I now. I know he doesn't appreciate me attacking him <laughs> last week in Belfast. And I'm sure he's a little sour over that war from territory. Oh yeah, just keep talking about. It. Yeah, I won the battle royal. I'm the expert. That's the first time uh -huh. I mentioned that. Now, come not on, Kreider. The second his, time you've mentioned it tonight. On, Obviously, that rope is right around his throat. He's got a five count. He broke it at five. This guy obeys all the rules of the wrestling. And now he's having a conversation with Kreider. Come on, Come on, one, Kreider, break it. Two. The referee is letting a lot slide here. Not at all. Let's see. One. Now he's doing the footwork. Two. Oh, now that is just... Right in front of Israel Sharif Akor. Yeah, that's, that's going to do damage to the ear, definitely the face. That, that, that's just insulting. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, because of that foot wash, now Justin Starr is not going to be able to compete in that Justin Bieber lookalike contest anymore. Oh. Watch this, watch this. Oh. 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 And Lightning uh, just missed that clothesline down below. Well, he was lucky he didn't get that. Uh, <laughs> he didn't go all the way, and Little Lightning got hit. Yeah. These series of right hands by the rising star. Come on, this is illegal. Three, four, come on, this is a five He's count. He's got a camera. five count. Remember. Yeah, and he almost didn't break it. Oh. All the stargazers in attendance. He's favoring He's that left arm. <laughs> definitely favoring that left <laughs> arm. Right back against that left arm. Well, Lightning's, Lightning's just that smart. Lightning has been working on that left arm throughout the whole contest. Oh! Man, that big kick. Wow. And right you got to give credit where credit is due. They that are mean. right side. I know it's This referee doesn't, doesn't know what he's title. doing. Now right. he doesn't know what he's doing. Before he was a great ref, no, he now knows he doesn't what know. He's, doing. he's letting a lot slide because the television title is a very contested championship. Oh, the there you go. That's so a, a that's a great slide. reversal right there. I do it the oh, right to the eyes. Just kind of tweak the nose a little bit. Flying from the top. Oh, oh flight 187. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the incline plane. I'm sorry, Lightning. My bad. Wow, Encyclopedia got it wrong. Well, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to every now and then because that's really pretty. That I know. That, in, that is an amazing move. I'll give credit for credit. Black Lightning is one heck of a great move. Lightning will come back to the back. working on the left arm again. And we'll laugh that I messed it up, and then we'll be on our way. I wonder where he's going to eat tonight. I might have to catch up. He need to get a free meal off of Lightning. Hell no, I went to Belfort. I went no. and had dinner with uh, Sherrod Hall. And we sat with him a little couple, and we sang church hymns. And then he time. left before... He paid the bill. Dine and Dash no. by Shroud Hall. That is so no, unclassy. He didn't. He paid Not like he lightning. Tipped, and he read the Bible to the kids. Lightning. 
Oh man, Justin oh, Starr trying to. Series of shots by Justin Starr. Trying to work over his legs. Star. No, this is a bit close line. Oh, hoping it would be. And we need to give a shout out to Martin. I just saw him sitting at the sound pick. Nobody cares about Martin. I love Martin. You would. He goes for that. Going up to the top. Uh, I think he's trying to set up for that DSD. And he's trying for it. Oh, look at this. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Elbow. He set up for that version of the Death Valley Driver. Just uh, no, wait. unceremoniously dumps him over the top rope. And he held on. Oh, oh, man. Right to the back of the noggin. Those kicks are lethal. Oh, he's going for a. Uh, looks like a. Uh, this guy, he's going for that DSD. DSD oh. from the outside. That was a nice. I will give him. Wow. I, will give I think we got a new television champion here. Now, wait a second. Wait a minute. The ISP's in the ring. The referee tripped out of the ring, and yeah, ISP. Where's Kreider? ISP's Psycho. helping him. Come on. He's telling him, you can do it. You can. Uh oh. Now, wait a second. Psycho pulled Kreider out. No, no, the. No, was Kreider like fell out of the ring. I think now, wait a second. What is this? One, two, three. What? Yes. What's going on here, Mike Edwards? What do you mean, what's going on? Kreider fell out of the ring, so the GM had to take over as referee. Psycho didn't fall out of the, out of the ring. ring. Psycho is over there checking on him. And now, an ISP decided to make the three count for him. Kreider didn't fall out of the ring. Psycho pulled him out. He did? When did that happen? Oh, I don't know man. what announcement to make here, so. Wait, wait. Hey, there's that shirt that uh, was just. Say, do you want to have AON come to your area and put on one of our amazing live shows? Well, it's easy, is using your phone or your computer. See, all you have to do is call 814-693-9111 or email rundown at aonwrestling.com. Contact us and we'll bring the amazing action that is AON Wrestling right to your hometown. Seriously, we've been to Clearfield, Roaring Spring, Evansburg, Williamsburg, only because you, the fans, have asked us. So again, call 814-693-9111 or email us at rundown at aonwrestling.com right now. All right, Drew Shannon, do we have this video yet? Miss Jess Mocker just dropped it off, my personal assistant. You may remember her. Did she bring cookies? No, she did not. Aww. She brought poop. Like Something you. better though. Sweet, sweet justice. Cookies. Finally! It's about time. But before we get to that, it's killing you, isn't it? Is it killing you? Are you, are you feeling it? Oh, Yeah. Just hold your britches there, poopy boy. Let's take a look at our big upcoming weekend, Autumn Massacre. Poopy boy. Yeah, that's right. People, I can't, I can't tell you this too much, you know? You have to be at this show. There's going to be things happening at these shows you will not believe. If you don't see them, you're going to be kicking yourself in the pants. I'm telling you what. Two days of incredible AON live action coming your way. Saturday, October 22nd at the Blair County Convention Center. And Sunday, October 23rd at the Pascarella Conference Center in Johnstown, PA. Uh, whatever you do, if you're a loyal AON follower... I don't even need a script to tell you this. Just be at the shows. Be there, all right? Check it out. It's going to be a great time. Autumn Massacre weekend, October 22nd and 23rd, Altoona and Johnstown, respectively. Are you done? With that? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. That's pretty good. Thank you. So let's recap, okay? This, which you're about to see, happened yeah, the beginning of the year. Frank, go ahead and roll it. We're back here for an interview. <sighs> places to go, things to do. I'm messing around with it. What the, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> now Edwards here has been accusing me of hiding something. I knew it! I just had to be hiding something. Now before I run this, um, you claim to be the encyclopedia, right? You know everything about everything before we simple folk, us peons, us ham and eggers, nine to fivers, know, right? You you know it all, right? Uh, of course. I mean, uh, first of all, I'm the encyclopedia. Second of all, I'm Cass's best friend. I know oh, more I'm than Cass's you two. I'm smarter than, well, I don't want you guys. So what's on this tape I'm about to show shouldn't surprise you at all, right? No, probably not. You shouldn't be shocked at all? No, I probably have known this for no. a while now. So You probably so, have. Yeah, I probably know well in advance before you even knew what was going on. Yeah, you probably did. But I doubt it. Frank, roll it. 
Ready for your interview? You guys have had me here for like about three days. I haven't had a chance to shave. I'm slightly disheveled. I was supposed to be here for an interview. I get pulled into this conference room. Shut up. Now, what is going on? Zach and Shane are goofballs. Okay. What? I'm busy. They're goofballs. Listen. I'm a businessman. I'm here to make money and to make the AON the greatest company in the world. I can't do that with two goofballs. I can't do that with some idiot minority owner, some idiot redneck broker, all these people. I can't do it with those Don't guys. Don't forget the Baltese Norway. <laughs> he is the ultimate goofball. That kid's a moron. The GM, really? But why drag me into a conference room and tell me all this? Because you walked into the wrong room, my friend. You were not supposed to enter that room door. But you did. And now that you're here, you need to be made aware of the situation. If you say anything, my friend, and I mean anything about what transpires in this room, I'd feel for you and your family and what psycho and what I, Israel Sharif Bukhorn, will do to them. I have Italian relatives. And what you're looking at right here, this is the future of the AON. And if you're smart, like Mr. Sharif Fakour here says, you'll clam up. Because, Don't mess this up! Because so help me, at War for Territory 4, when our master plan comes to fruition, if you've breathed a word of this, you're done. You understand? I think he's breathing. I think he's breathing. Are you breathing words, my friend? Psycho, is he breathing words? I, I'm not breathing words. I swear to God, I'm not breathing words. I'm not breathing words. I'm not breathing words. I swear to God, don't hurt me. Go away. I swear to God, I'm not going to say anything. I won't say a word, okay? Swear to Allah. Swear to Allah. I, I swear to Allah. That's I, right. All right. I kind of like you, Mr. Drew. But what happens if I'm questioned? What do I say then? Are Tell you... them that you were in the room with the FCM. Yeah. Tell them you were in the room with the family. Tell them you were in the room with Team Solution. We don't care what you tell them. I'll tell them I was in the room with Samantha Sanders, with Shane, with C4, anybody but you guys, okay? That's what you said. And I'll tell you what, again, if you breathe a word, you're gonna find out why he's called Psycho. And when Mr. Edison owns this company, and guarantee you he will own this company, you will be the first one that suffers. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, I can't see you. Hey Drew, see you around. Don't mess this up, fool! Yep. Even though I was, and I'll fully admit, scared out of my gourd, I was terrified. I've known about the operation all along. I knew about it in advance, all the way back then, at the beginning of the year. I knew that was happening. So take that, encyclopedia! Huh? Mr. Britannica, Mr. AON, Mr. I know everything before everyone else. I totally knew something. I totally knew something before you! You yourself admitted that you you, you, didn't, know, you didn't know about the coup, did you? Did you? Drew, I think you broke his brain. <laughs> Seriously, Mike. <laughs> Mike? I got one up on Mike Edwards. Hello. I finally got one up on you, Mike. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully he'll get over this. Is he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. <laughs> Mike, you probably should have done this for a while. All right. We'll find out everything else right here next week on ABC. Drew, let's go. Amen for a win. Just in case of any place. Bye, Mike.